if you can lower the shutter speed you can get pretty decent means i can go work with this thing it's pretty simple even like when you are hey what is up guys so fully guys are doing absolutely great and welcome back to another episode of monday show because today is monday that means i have something to review yes that's what i have right now is the 80 to 55 millimeter 3.5 to 5.6 aperture STM, non STM lens because this is not the STM version. So, this is the IS2 version. It's not the best version that's available in the market because it's been a couple of years that I have this thing with me right now and it's pretty good. It yeah, like it has a lot of pros and also cons, but most of the times I found the pros are much more better than cons. So, without wasting all the time, let's go inside of the video and let's see what are the pros and cons we can get inside of this lens. So right now what I have is the Canon 70D and I use this 18 to 55 mm lens with Canon 70D but the main problems I found is for video. So at first let's talk about the build quality after that we'll jump into photo and after that video. So in terms of build quality it's a pretty cheap lens and doesn't have great materials but for the price you are getting pretty much anything that you can expect for $40 something like that but it's the metal build uh, at the back point but the 50 mm I'm shooting currently with it has the metal build that means it's pretty sturdy but this thing is not metal built so it is not properly sturdy but it's pretty well and in my opinion for the amount you're paying you're getting pretty much everything you want for and wide to medium zoom lens okay now let's come into the photo quality so it can produce pretty good photo quality but the thing you have to consider every single time when you are shooting the photo you have to gather pretty decent amount of lights because it starts from 3.5 to 5.6 that means you have to gather a lot more lights in terms of like all the aperture that has something like 1.4 and 1.8 but it doesn't have 1.4 and 1.8 something like that that's the reason you have to maintain a lot of lights even though if you are shooting at 3.5 at 18 millimeter if you go to 55 millimeter then just forget about all the things you need a huge amount of light that just in 5.6 aperture like everything is pretty much useless and even after 5 or 6 pm the light is coming down and you will never be able to use this lens but one thing you can do in terms of photo that you can slow the shutter speed put this thing over and some rocks or if you can use then you can use the and tripod and that will be pretty great but whoever uses tripod for most of the part so if you can lower the shutter speed you can get pretty decent image with this thing at low light yes so that's all about the low light and the quality is pretty good corner to corner sharpness uh, like i saw that the sharpness is pretty well but in low light what i said that everything there is a lot of noise and also the sharpness is not that great so let's jump inside of the video section and let's see what we can get and what are the pros and cons in video sections so it starts from 18 millimeter and goes up to 55 millimeter and with going to 55 millimeter what you have to consider that the aperture value is going down that means you starting from 3.5 and it's lowering the shutter speed main like it means pretty simple that you have this much aperture and it is going down as far as you zoom it is going to be pretty small that's the reason the light is not going to come a lot more like you need a lot more light in terms of video because you cannot lower the shutter speed the minimum shutter speed you can do from your camera that is 30 you cannot go lower than that that's the reason you need a lot more light if you want to exactly use this thing in terms of the video the main problem that i have is that it doesn't have the stepper motor if you can get right now you can like you should go with the stepper motor version because that's so silent like if you should gonna shoot this thing like with this thing then the inbuilt microphone of your camera body is going to held up because it makes a lot of noise like can you see all the noise it is making so it makes a pretty decent amount of noise that's the reason like it has a great disadvantage for me yes exactly disadvantage for me because it just makes a lot of noise that cannot be removed or you cannot do anything about this thing lens so you have to consider the HTM version in terms of the video. So in terms of video, when you go to 18mm, you can see some distortion. Like I made some videos with this thing and there is a lot of distortion. You can see on the videos like this thing make my nose very big, my head very small, my body very small. Sometimes make my head very large in 18mm. But if you can go like 30 or 24 something like that, then it's pretty okay. But in terms of 30, it's much more better than 18 or 24. So that's all about the video and photo. And there is one thing I have to talk. It's really important. That is the stabilization yes it has a stabilization and it's pretty great to have a stabilization with the lens like if you want to do shoot videos especially when you are handheld the means stabilization is going to help you so much because the means stabilization can help you something around two or four stop i'm not sure exactly about that 
If you want, you can go Google that thing. It's really simple. So if you want to get some decent shots with handle, then you can exactly get. But right now, I have the 50mm 1.8. That doesn't have the stabilization, but it has the stabilization. That means I can go work with this thing. It's pretty simple. Even like when you are zoomed all the way to 55 or 50mm or something like that, that image stabilization is so much important because in 18mm, it's not that masked. But when you are at 50 or something above that, then stabilization is going to be really, really helpful for you guys. So yes, uh, this lens is pretty good and if you want to get go with the stepper, stepper motor latest version that is going to cost a little bit but that is much more better than this lens. So with that said guys, that's all for today, that's all for this Monday show. I'm a little late right now because there are some problems with my camera and something like that. Uh, I'll share that on my Instagram account. So if you want, you can go and follow me over Instagram and you can see all the behind the scenes. So that's all for right now, that's all for this Monday show. I'll come back next Monday with something else and till then what I have to say to you is Goodbye and see you later. Be sure to subscribe. Don't go away.